In David Luber's young adult novel, Sleeping Freshman Never Lie, we follow the journey of 14-year-old Scott Hudson as he navigates his tumultuous first year of high school. With both humorous and poignant moments, the story delves into the challenges and revelations of adolescence. Scott is a bookish and nerdy freshman, quite unlike his troublemaking but handsome older brother, Bobby. He enters high school with his friends, Kyle, Patrick, and Mitch, who are equally clueless but promise to stick together. However, high school isn't what Scott expects, and he faces bullying from older students, particularly Wesley Cobble, who takes their lunch money. At home, Scott's life becomes even more complicated when he learns that his mother is pregnant. Overwhelmed by the changes in his family, he begins writing a survival manual for high school, intended for his unborn sibling, whom he affectionately nicknames Smelly. Meanwhile, Bobby returns and warns Scott that things will change once the baby arrives. Scott tries to connect with Julia Baskins, an intimidatingly beautiful girl from his school, by joining the school newspaper. However, his efforts to get closer to her do not yield the expected results. As he explores extracurricular activities and forges a new identity, he discovers a passion for sports writing. Despite the challenges, he covers the basketball and wrestling teams, but this doesn't go unnoticed by the school's varsity quarterback, Vernon Dross. Scott's life continues to evolve as he faces changes in his friendships. Mitch gets a girlfriend and drifts away, Patrick moves to Texas, and Kyle finds new friends after joining the wrestling team. At home, the renovation of a room into a nursery and other family dynamics add to Scott's stress. In the midst of all these changes, Scott becomes acquainted with Lee, a unique and enigmatic classmate known for her distinctive appearance. He admires her for her taste in books, but is hesitant to approach her, fearing the judgment of his peers. Their interactions gradually lead to a growing friendship. Scott's second semester brings physical changes due to weightlifting in gym class and his work on the stage crew. His growing confidence attracts the attention of Wesley Cobble, who had once bullied him. Wesley stands up for Scott and offers his friendship, picking him up every day in his Mustang. As Scott's personal growth continues, he stands against bullying and offensive language. He befriends Mouth, who had attempted suicide due to feeling unliked, and tries to improve the school environment. He also forms a strong bond with Wesley, despite some of Wesley's questionable actions. The story takes a serious turn when Scott learns about Mouth's suicide attempt and pays a visit to him in the hospital. By now, most athletes recognize Scott for attending every game, and he helps his father at the car dealership, putting his Spanish class skills to use. Scott also discovers that Bobby struggles with reading. As Scott's friendships face challenges, he finds the courage to confront Kyle, who had written a slur on Lee's locker. In a surprising turn of events, Scott wins a fight against Kyle and gains respect from others. The story reaches its climax when Scott faces a brutal beating orchestrated by Vernon, Kyle, and Kelly. However, he doesn't seek help from his family, deciding to handle the problem himself. Meanwhile, his friendship with Lee faces its own challenges. The narrative concludes with a memorable school dance, where Scott dyes his hair red for Lee, but she has returned to her natural look. They face an unexpected journey to the dance as Scott's parents need to be rushed to the hospital. Ultimately, the story highlights the importance of friendship, resilience, and personal growth in the face of life's challenges. In the final chapter, Scott shares that he, Wesley, and Lee are going out to celebrate Wesley's graduation. He continues to write to Mouth and maintain his journal. Despite the ups and downs, including the arrival of a new baby in his family, Scott's ultimate triumph is that he has survived his first year of high school. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.